Hi, I'm Andy from Steinberg and I'm happy to be here at DV247 today to talk about seven of the new features that are included in Cubase 7. So on this website, uh, you'll find seven feature videos uh, that offer you some, some insights and also some tips and tricks into things like the new Mix console, the customizable new console that's in, inside of Cubase, uh, the new channel strip, the new plugins that are always included in new releases, um, things like the new chord track and chord and analyzer, the harmonizer, which allows us to harmonize audio and MIDI files, and a basic general overview of all the new exciting features that we've included in the box. So check them out, I hope you enjoy them. So you've seen the new customizable mixer, but another major addition, I guess, to the workflow inside of Cubase 7 is the addition of channel strips. So it's easy, it's all very well to go to inserts and you know, add a, a limiter, add a compressor, add some sat saturation, but Steinberg, looked at the mixer and thought, what if we combine that all into one? Everyone's always talking about channel strips, so buying particular channel strips to, to fit inside of a door. We thought we might just make your life a little bit easier by installing a channel strip right over the top of each individual track. So you can see here I've soloed my electric guitar track. So on the left hand side, we've now got this new drop down menu here inside of the individual track called Strip. So if I click on this, I can go through and load a whole lot of I guess professional engineers presets that now come with Cubase 7, or I can go through and I can configure my own. So over the top of these guitars, if I wanted to, I could say add a gate. So if I click on the right hand side here, you can see now that there's now a noise gate. So if I want to turn that on, I can now click on this guy here and turn it off again. <laughs> so that's the project window, but if we go over to our mix window, you can see now, now I've, I've actually increased the size of this so I can bring my channel strip here and I can actually see every component of it very clearly. So we've got a gate, we've got a compressor, we've got an EQ position, we can actually change our envelope. So we've got an envelope shaper which is really handy for say, you know, kick drums, snares, toms, any of that sort of thing. Lots of people love to use tape saturation or tube saturation, so a little bit of drive. So that's now there as well and then of course we've got three different types of limiters including the new brick wall limiter inside of Cubase. So it's just a matter of dropping it down and moving the parameters around so that we can actually get to a position that we're happy with. One of the key things about this mixer though, or the channel strip, is actually being able to drag and drop individual facets of it. So you can pick it up, you can move it around anywhere and drop it on a track. Um, so if you're working with different types of groups, it's really easy to pick it up and move it. Also, if you want different positions in your channel strip, so let's say we want the noise gate to be post, say the EQ or the envelope shaper up the top, we just simply pick up on it, drag and drop, and it will um, dump in place. So that's the new channel strip inside of Cubase. It just makes it, it you've got a go-to channel strip right there on every individual channel now inside the mix window, and of course back inside our project window over here on the left-hand side of our drop-down menu.